What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. We have just returned from our vacation and we usually do this once a year. We'll go to Kingston and we absolutely love it. There's a lot of cool things that we like checking out while we're there and a lot of stuff that we enjoy doing there. So we try to go once a year and usually anywhere from spending two days to maybe a couple days there. But while we're there, we always check out different places to add things to our collection. And we did pick up quite a bit this year compared to previous years. And we're going to be showing that in today's video, so let's get started. So here's an overview of what we picked up when we were in Kingston, which is way more than what we did last time. So up first, let's just start. Uh, these are actually Funko. They're like VHS boxes, these mini boxes, but there's a mystery figure inside, kind of like the soda cans are. These were, I think, $20 each, but we actually got them on sale. And I think one was $17, one was $18, so just a couple dollars off. But we're going to open these up in a second as well. We also found this here, this little Winnie the Pooh figure. It's actually Ashley's uh, birthstone, which is really cool. And I picked out the nicest one. Uh, this was only $4, so a nice little Winnie the Pooh figure for her collection. We also found this. I think it was $17 at Hot Topic. And it's just a cool Winnie the Pooh uh, honey pots. But you can also get a figure inside, which is awesome. And before we even went and got to Kingston, we did go to Walmart. We found these little almost like keychain things. So she got a Mickey Mouse and a Stitch, which is awesome because she loves Stitch. So at least she got one that she really liked. At the same Walmart, we did find this Walt Disney with magazine that has Mickey Mouse on it, which is really cool. So she picked that one up. I think this was $17 or around that mark. The same Walmart, we finally picked up another one of these Icon lights. I do have the uh, yellow question mark cube, but now we have the POW one as well. So that's a really cool addition. I think these are about the same as a Funko. I think they're around $17 as well. Other places actually sell them for around $25. And when we're in Kingston, I did find the Mushroom and the Boo Ghost, but they were $25 each. And I thought that was overpriced when I already picked this one up for $17. So I decided just to stick with the one. At Mind Games, I actually did find a lot of these Funkos. So she finally found a Snow White that she liked. This was $17.99. She also found Maleficent. I probably butchered that. $17.99. And then the 100th Anniversary Cinderella, which was $14.99. And they had a deal where if you get three... You get a fourth for only $2, so mine ended up being the cheapest. It was Doctor Strange for $11.99, so this one was only $2 with the sale, which was awesome. She also picked up this really cool Stitch t-shirt, which is him hangry, which is awesome. So that was really cool. I think we got that at Spencer's. And then at Mind Games, we actually picked up a bunch of these soda cans. So I've been looking for Thanos for years. And at the time, they were around $20 each for each can. These ones here, the Thanos is what I spotted first. It was only $9.97, so $10. So most of these range between $15, between $10 to $15, which is amazing considering they used to be $20 each. So we did pick up a Ghostbuster one here, Peter Venkman. Thanos for myself, Captain America, which I think is going to be really cool, Crash Bandicoot because I can't find his regular Funko anywhere, and Ashley picked up two as well, Ursula and Ariel. So we're going to open those up and see what figures they are because there is a chase as well. And of course, while we're in Kingston, we had to go to Wilson Cheese to pick up Cheese Curts and Brothers for the Jerky. So this is one pound of regular and half a pound of hot and spicy, and that is the best jerky around. So here's the honey pot. We're gonna open it up now, but looking at it, it has all of the honey dripping down, which is really cool. So Ashley's gonna open it up now, and we're gonna see what figure we get inside. Let's see. Looks like oh. Christopher Robin. Yeah, yeah, pretty good figure. Look at this. All of the figures that you could have got were actually really cool. So that's mm -hmm. actually a really nice figure. Mm -hmm. So that's a great addition to Ashley's collection. Yeah, I like it. Even the honey, honey pot just on its own 
was really cool, but the fact that you get a figure out of it was awesome. Now for these here, I didn't even realize Funko was making them, which is crazy. Uh, obviously they're going to be more movie related and things that probably came out on VHS. But I'm going to open up mine here, Jurassic Park, which is the Ian Malcolm figure. Let's see what is inside it here. See if I can do it with one hand. Oh, that looks like just the regular one. Which is actually really cool. That's a really cool figure. Yeah. I like that Funko makes stuff like this. And then inside, it actually has a name tag for him. Dr. Ian Malcolm. That's really cool. Ashley's going to open up her Stitch one here. And it's awesome because you get a nice little mini VHS uh, case as well to display along with the figure. All right, so we know it's going to be a Stitch one. Yep. All right, let's see. And this is a Hot Topic exclusive. Yeah. Looks like the regular yeah. stitch. Yeah. Which still is a really cool uh, and cute stitch. Yeah. I'll leave it in there. But yeah, it's probably stuck good. in the ears, but that's really cool. Holding his belly. And they have a little card here as well, kind of like the other one. So these are Blockbuster Rewinds, which are really cool. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to open up those cans and see what figures we got. And hopefully we got a chase out of one of them. So here are the cans. We're going to open them up one by one and see if we did get a chase or even just check out the figure. But these range between uh, $10 to $15, which was amazing considering they used to be $20 each. But Ashley's going to go ahead and open up the first one here. We're going to see what figure it is. Some of them are also uh, exclusive ones as well, which is really cool. Okay, We're going to so open up the first one. This one is Ursula. The first one. It's mm. actually a really big one. Yeah. And that does yeah. look like the regular one. Mm -hmm. And there is a uh, little thing inside here that will tell you if you got the chase, but no, just the regular one, which still, that is a really cool figure. Yeah, it's, it's a nice one. That's still really cool. What yeah. you holding? A little purse? Uh, yeah, a little purse. That is really cool. That's a nice figure. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, so let's open up the next ones here. So let's open up the Captain America, which is also an exclusive one. So go ahead there. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Just the regular. Just the regular. Wow. That one's nice. That's really nice. So it's the one from Endgame. Oh, is he? He's holding Thor's hammer. Yeah. That's a really cool one. That's awesome. Love that he has the shield on, Thor's hammer. That's a great addition to my collection. Nice. Next, we're going to do the Ghostbusters one here. Let's see what is inside it. That's, That's really nice. cool. That's a nice figure. You have the Ghostbusters logo on the side, the pack on him. That's awesome. Bet you anything the chase would have been him covered in slime. Yeah. That's Guar guarantee it. So we're gonna do uh we're gonna do Crash Bandicoot next. So I've been looking for the regular Funko for this for years, and we've not found it anywhere, so at least I found this one and I think it was only ten dollars. But worth it. Wow, that one's awesome. This one's way bigger than the other ones. Mm -hmm. But finally, I have a crash to put on my shelf. That is awesome. That's a nice figure. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. I like that they're from Funko, but they're different than Funko. They're not the, the same exact style, which is awesome. And the last one, Thanos which I'm excited for, because this one was $20 back in the day and I couldn't find it anywhere. This one seems big. All right. <gasps> no way. Yeah. We found the chase. Only 3,300 of these ones. Yeah. It's Thanos without the helmet. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. 
So let's check it with the chase. That is awesome. First time ever getting a chase. That is awesome. So it's him without the helmet. Still has the Infinity Gauntlet, which I'm so happy for. That's awesome. That looks amazing. Compared to what the regular one. So the regular one's him with the helmet on. Oh, there we go. It's him without the helmet. He's actually, uh, he has a bigger grin on here. This here, he looks angry. I think I'm going to go for the regular one too, though. I think I want to get the regular one. But finding the chase is just awesome. Yeah. So finally, we did pull a chase, which is amazing. And I love that it has the suit. There's so much detail in it. So that is awesome. That is a highlight right there. But these are what we picked up when we were in our trip for Kingston. We've got a whole bunch of these mystery figures. whole bunch of other new additions to the collectibles. And we also got some treats as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.